so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Mika! Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Billy Bee's in Anaheim, California. Billy Bee's is an indoor playground, so it's a great place to play and have fun and use our imaginations. Come on! Whoa! Hey, it looks like we're in a town. We could definitely use our imaginations here. <gasps> Wait, this looks like a mailbox. Huh, I actually have something I need to mail. A note for my grandma. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Whoa, come in here. Hey, we could imagine that we're at a grocery store. Yeah, have you ever been to a grocery store before? to pick out some yummy food. Hmm, let's see. Ooh, waffles, that's yummy for breakfast. There's lots of breakfast food here. Cereal. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, cheese crackers. And a mini pretzels. Let's go, we have to pay for it. <laughs> okay, I'll just ring myself up. Okay, let's see, what do we have here? Cheese crackers, okay. And we have some cereal. Oh, quite a deal. I love this store. Waffle, and pretzels, okay. Looks like it's, oh, only $3? Wow. Okay, looks like I can take my snacks and go home. <laughs> Oh, it's so fun to use your imagination, right? All right, well, let's keep playing. I wonder what else is in this town. Hmm. Hey, this looks super fun. Oh, come in here. We could imagine that we're in school. Whoa, a clock. So colorful. <laughs> Will you count with me? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oop, <laughs> nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <gasps> it looks like it's time for school to start. We better get to class. <clears throat> Everyone settle, settle, settle. Hello, I'm your teacher, Teacher Mika. Okay. Today, we are going to learn how to count strawberries. Ready, class? <clears throat> A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten strawberries. Good job. <laughs> oh, what's this? Look at this. I see a pattern. Blue. Yellow, red, blue, yellow, red, blue, yellow. Do you know what's next? That's right, red. Whoa. <laughs> well, looks like class is over, everyone. You deserve a break. Go outside and play. <laughs> All right, how else can we use our imagination? What's this? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Looks like some toy tools and instruments. Hey, these are all things that doctors and nurses use. Like a stethoscope. Let's check my heartbeat here. Dun, dun. Good beat. <laughs> what else? Hmm. Oh, maybe you would wear this name tag so everyone would know what your name was. Dr. Mika. <laughs> That's cool. And nutritious nibbles for healthy and happy kids. <laughs> That's really funny. Looks like pretend vitamins or something. Oh, have you ever seen a tool like this? 
Sometimes doctors use something like this to check your reflexes. Let's check my reflexes. <clears throat> All right. Usually they hit you in the knee right here. Ready? Whoa! Did you see that? Let me try the other leg. <laughs> I have really good reflexes. <laughs> All right, I'll put this back. <sighs> it's so fun playing. I wonder what else they have here. Come on. Whoa! Hey, look over here. Even with basic shapes, you can use your imagination. Like, come down here. <gasps> this is a my dog house. I have a dog in here. Do you want to say hi? Okay. Come on out, Rover. Oh, oh. he's sleeping, taking a little nap. Oh, <laughs> hey, and I could pretend that this is a trampoline. Will you bounce with me? Okay. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> this trampoline is awesome. Whoa. <laughs> oh, and we could pretend that this is a mailbox. Oh, I got a note back from my grandma. Dear Mika, thanks for the note. See you next Saturday for our tea party. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, we could pretend that these blocks are my next door neighbor's house. Let's put some blocks here together to make a house. Oh, I like this one. Do you know what color this is? Yellow, one of my favorite colors. And it's a one, two, three, four, square. <laughs> nice. Okay. Hmm. I'm gonna put it like this. And here's the roof. This is my neighbor's house. I'm just keeping an eye on it while they're on vacation. And ooh, come with me to the rainforest. Maybe we could ride our Skateboard through the rainforest. Whoa, this is so fun. Whoa. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Whoa, what is this? Maybe we could zip line through the rainforest. Woo. <laughs> and we can pretend like we're worms and dig through the dirt. Here we go. Doom, 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 doom. It's so much fun to use your imagination. Do you want to play some more? All right, let's do it. Over here. Look, a circle. Oof, I'm going to crawl through. Hello. Another circle, see? Whoa. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what's down here. Hey, we could imagine that this as a colorful snake or a macaroni necklace. Have you ever made a necklace out of macaroni? <laughs> and I noticed a pattern. See, maroon, yellow, maroon, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> yellow. So cool, right? Oh, excuse me. It also kind of looks like ketchup, mustard, Ketchup, mustard. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> hey, I see a yellow slide. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and I think there's one down here too. Yeah, a green slide. Hmm, which slide should I go down? Yellow or green? Yellow or green? <gasps> yellow or green? Hmm, I think green. Hey, will you meet me at the bottom of the slide? All right. See you there. Whoa, <laughs> that was so fun. Hey, let's imagine that these are colorful logs on a rushing river. Okay, let's see if I can get to the top without falling in the water. Can I do it? I got this. I got this. I got this. I 
I did it! <laughs> oh, it's over here. Whoa, check this out. Maybe this is a big vine that we have to get past, but it's always in the way. Whoa! <laughs> Come on. Hey, look, more logs on the river. Butter, butter. Whoa. <laughs> this is so cool. Come on. More logs. Oh, you have to be careful. It's going down the water. <laughs> oh, I see another big vine. We're coming for you, vine. Whoa. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? <laughs> what else is over here? Oh, I see something. I have to go get it. Goodbye. <laughs> I had so much fun with you today at Billy B's. It was really cool using our imaginations. Remember, we pretended to go to school, pretended to be doctors, we went to the grocery store. Oh, I wrote a letter to my grandma and she wrote back right away. <laughs> I had such a good time moving my body and playing. Thank you so much for learning with me today. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> All right, I'll see you next time. Oh, bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at the Intrepid Museum in New York City. Check it out. The Intrepid is so big. It's an aircraft carrier that can have airplanes land on it. That's how big it is. <laughs> Let's go inside and explore. Come on. Check it out. We're at the Concorde. This is one of the very first supersonic airplanes. Do you know what that means? That means that this plane goes faster than the speed of sound. We get to go inside and check it out. Come on. I got you. There you go. You can get it after. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> oh, you want to? Oh, yeah. Yes! Oh, can you just, mm-hmm, thank you. Oh, hi, <laughs> I'm Mika, your flight attendant on Supersonic Airlines. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just Mika, I'm just playing. <laughs> this plane is so cool. Check out the seats. Ooh, you can rest your arm and just relax on your flight. <laughs> Did you know that this plane holds the world record for fastest flight from New York to London? <laughs> it got to London in under three hours. That's really, 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 really fast. <laughs> hey, wanna go check out the cockpit? Let's go. Hi, I'm First Officer Mika. <laughs> A first officer assists the pilot. But there's no pilot. Hmm, let's see. Let me just give a little call here. Hello? Hi, yes, it's First Officer Mika, and we don't have a pilot. Mm-hmm. No, I'm looking right now, there's no pilot. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, this is so cool to be in the cockpit. There's so many different buttons and controls, and this is the steering wheel. It controls the wings of the airplane. <sighs> Whoa, look at all of these circles. See? There's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this, it says visor nose. This controls the nose of the airplane. It can either go down or it can go up. You have to know a lot to fly a plane. What else? <gasps> See the wheel button? The wheels. Make sure you go in for a nice, smooth landing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Whoa, what else is in here? Whoa, all these little numbers look like something you'd see on a telephone. Ooh, and this is the throttle. This is how you can go fast or slow. So you wanna go so fast, you wanna go so slow. <laughs> hmm, wow. I wonder how long it takes to learn what all of these buttons and controls do. Ooh, ooh. Can we just get ready here? Our 
Are you ready to fly with me? Awesome! Let's count down together. Three, two, one, fly! Woo! Let's go even faster! Woohoo! Here we are on the flight deck! This place is amazing! We're up high, we can see a lot of the New York City skyline, and look at these amazing planes! This is where planes would take off and where they would land. But it's actually not long enough, so they would use a device to catapult planes into the sky. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> Whoa, look at that plane. Oh, I see a helicopter. Oh, they're just hanging out on the flight deck. It's where the planes hang. And they have these beautiful views. <laughs> what? There's someone on one of the planes? <gasps> You're right. Hi. Hi. Let's go get a closer look. Hey. Hi, come on up. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. I'm Jen. Hi, Jen. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you do here? So I am a museum educator, which means that I teach all kinds of people, students, children, adults coming into the museum. Awesome, so you must know a lot about planes. I do. Well, if I'm in the front here, does that mean that I'm the pilot? You are a pilot, but you are still learning how to be a pilot. So you're technically a student driver. Oh, okay. So then would you be the pilot or the instructor? I would be the instructor. So I would be back here and I could take control of the plane if I needed to. Oh. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I really like the look of this plane. I love the colors. I can see red and white and blue. Absolutely, the red, white, and blue let other planes know that this is an American airplane. And also the red and white, they're high visibility. So it lets people know that you're still learning how to be a pilot. Oh, that's a great idea. Mm -hmm. Well, it's so cool that I get to be inside of this airplane. Yeah. <laughs> would you like to go inside of a helicopter? Yes, I would. All right, uh, let's go. Okay, let's go. Wow. This is amazing. Yeah. So this is our Sea Guardian helicopter. It was used by the Coast Guard to help rescue people out in the ocean. Wow, that's super important. Absolutely. And you'll notice here we have pontoons, one pontoons. here and one on the other side. And then the shape of the front of the helicopter matches that of a boat so yeah. that it can land directly on the water. Whoa, this helicopter can land on water? Absolutely, That's it can. really cool. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. You're also gonna notice that we've got colors. We've got red and white, similar to the Mentor that we were just in. Yeah, I was just gonna say, we were just in a red and white plane. Yeah, so same colors, both so that they can be high visibility so people notice them, but fit different reasons. The mentor over there is high visibility, so people stay away from you because you're right. learning, new, new learning flyer. to drive. Uh -huh. And this one is high visibility, so that people know to flag you down so that you can help them. Oh, that makes Absolutely. sense. Absolutely. Wow, what a helpful and useful helicopter. Yeah. In fact, the way it helps people, you'll notice the hook right up here. There's a basket inside. We could connect to that hook to lower down into the water. Wow, yeah, let's go see what the basket looks Absolutely. like. Absolutely, come on in. Okay. Wow, look, it looks like a giant basket you would use to get groceries. Yeah, you need it to fit people in there, so it needs to be a big basket. Yeah, it is mm -hmm. really big. Mm -hmm. Wow, this is so cool. Thanks for showing me. Yeah, you can see the hole right here that would connect to the hook. Oh, yeah. And we even have some floats on either side of the basket to help it float when it drops down into the water. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, before you let me pretend to fly the airplane, did I pretend to fly this helicopter? Absolutely, let's go. <gasps> yes, let's do it. Check out the cockpit in this helicopter. Yeah, all kinds of different controls in here. Yeah, there's a lot going on. I see a lot of circles and buttons and knobs. Absolutely, but the three things that you're gonna use to really steer this, mm -hmm. you have your pedals yeah. down on the floor, okay. just like you would in a car. You have your joystick right here oh, that's going to... You have one too. I have one too. All right. And then you have this control right here, which lifts up and down to help lift the helicopter up and down. Whoa, so you use your feet on the pedals. Mm -hmm. You hold on to this. What did you call it? Joystick. Joystick. And you have this controller too? Absolutely. You're that's doing a lot. lot. <laughs> that seems like a really hard job. It is. It's really complicated. Wow. <laughs> yep. 
And then when you want to land, we have landing gear, just like we would on a plane. So that control is oh. right here. Yeah, I'm gonna flip it. it up. Now, you're not always going to have the landing gear down for this one because remember it lands on the water. So oh, we're not right. gonna use our wheels when we're landing on the water. Oh, so we don't even need that? Not all not the time. Not if we're landing not on water. Not if we're landing on water, absolutely. Oh, cool. And then yeah. I've seen this before in a car, parking brake. Yep, so that does help when you're on land to just make sure it doesn't go rolling away anywhere. Oh, very smart. Absolutely. Oh, I feel like an official helicopter flyer. <laughs> you're doing great. <laughs> hey, well, we'll see you soon. Jen and I have a big landing coming up. Are you ready? Yeah, let's, let's land do this. this yes. Woo! Oh, cool. This looks like a map of the Intrepid. Yeah, you can see the entire length of the ship. It is as long as three football fields lined up end to end. Whoa, that is really, really long. We did some serious walking today. Definitely, a lot of exercise, a lot of steps. Wow, well, I'm gonna keep exploring, but it was so nice meeting you, Jen, and thank you for showing me all of this. Absolutely, it was nice showing you around and have fun. Oh, thanks. See ya. Bye. Let's go. Hey, look behind me. It's the Intrepid. <laughs> well, it's a model of the Intrepid made out of Legos. Isn't that cool? Let's get a closer look. Whoa, this is amazing. There's so much to look at. Oh, I see people, workers and helpers. You know, you can know what kind of job someone has based off of the color of their uniform. So, oh. Like right here, brown. And see, this person's wearing brown too. They are pilots. And oh, this friend right here in green. <laughs> and there's another one. If you're wearing green, you help direct the planes. You help with takeoff and landing. Whoa. Oh, look at these two. These are two officers. Hello, officer. Hello, officer. Good to see you. <laughs> Old friends. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh, hello. <laughs> <gasps> These two people are wearing purple. One of my favorite colors. They have really cool jobs. They refuel the planes or they juice up the planes. And because they wear purple and they juice up the planes, they have really cool nicknames. They call them the grapes. <laughs> this is amazing. I wonder what else is here. Let's go find out. Oh, this looks like a comfy, cozy spot. There's three bunks. Do you know who would sleep here? The sailors! Oh, let's try it out. Ah. Whoa, can you imagine if you're on a bunk bed for three people? You have a friend here, you have a friend down there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That'd be such a fun sleepover. Ah. Oh, I bet there's more to go see. Come on. Let's go that way. <laughs> oh, this is the part of the ship for different ways to communicate to other people in ships. Like, here's the other end of the voice tube. Hello. <laughs> oh, and over here, it says Morse code. Let's see. Type your name in Morse code. Yeah, did you hear that? It's a way to communicate with other people that are super far away. So, hmm, I'll spell my name. If it's a long line like that, you hold it down. And if it's a dot like that, it's... Okay, so Mika, M, E, E, K, a H Mika! If anyone is wondering. <laughs> oh, and this big light is another way to communicate with people on ships super far away. Let's see. Whoa, that's a really bright light. You could probably even see it through a really foggy night. Hello! Check out these red paddles. One, two. They're kind of like ping pong paddles. Well, they're super cool and helpful because it's another way to communicate. 
planes needed to be able to land safely. So they relied on signal landing officers like me. Let's see. Uh, let's try this one. It says, wave off, do not land. Do not land. <laughs> or this one that means, too high, you're too high. Or too low, you're too low, buddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, here's another way to communicate with signal flags. Let's see. Uh, I want to tell that ship over there, the pizza has been delivered. My work here is done. Oh, huh, something cool over here. Looks like a person wearing a green shirt. Hey, we saw something like this on the model of the Intrepid. Do you remember? If someone's wearing a green shirt, they help the planes take off and land. You're doing a great job. Smooth landing. <laughs> cool. Oh, there's another one over here. Do you know what color shirt this is? It's white. Yep, this is a landing signal officer. Hey, that's like the one I just did with the red paddles. That was a landing signal officer. Hello, I'm a landing signal officer. I, I don't think they sang, but. Oh, this one is wearing a blue shirt. If you're wearing a blue shirt, you're a plane handler and you move the aircraft around the flight deck. Hi! <laughs> what kind of job would you want to have? They had so many different jobs on the Intrepid. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> what a fun day at the museum! I can't believe that we got to go inside of the Concorde and an airplane and a helicopter. Oh, and do you know what this is? This is the Lockheed A-12. It goes super fast, three times the speed of sound. <laughs> well, I hope you had fun learning with me today. This is the end of this video, but if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M E E. K-A-H, Mika. All right, see you soon. Hey everyone, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Sky Zone Trampoline Park in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Woo, look at these blocks. They're so fun and light. They're made out of foam. And look, this one is orange. And oh, there's a blue one there too. And it says, welcome. <laughs> That's so nice. I'm really excited because there are trampolines here and foam pits that you can jump into. And I really wanna learn how to do a flip. I wonder if there's someone here who can teach me how to do that. Let's go find out. I'm Mika. Hi, I'm Priscilla. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Sky Zone. Ooh, thank you. I'm so excited to be here. <laughs> awesome. Okay, first we do need to pick out some wristbands in order to go inside the park. Ooh, I love wristbands. Hmm. So which color would you like? Oh, let's see. There's orange, green, <gasps> yellow. Yellow is one of my favorite colors. I Mine want this one. too. All right, here, let's go. Thank you, so official. <laughs> and now we have to pick out some socks. Okay, why do we need to put on special socks? The special socks have grip on them so that when you're on the trampoline, you don't slip. Oh, that's so smart. Hmm, let's see, we have some orange socks and ooh, some blue and black and pink socks. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go with the orange. I love this color, and my best friend Blippi really loves orange. I'm gonna wear these. All right, perfect. <laughs> Thank so you. So what brings you in today? Oh, I really wanna learn how to do a flip on the trampoline. All right, perfect. We have Quincy in the park who can teach you how to do a flip. Wow, okay, let's go find Quincy. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> trampolines and this huge foam pit behind me. Wow, I've never seen so many trampolines before. Will you count them with me? Awesome, let's go. Okay, ready? One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Wow, five trampolines. Huh, I wonder where Quincy 
is. That's who's supposed to teach me how to do a flip. Oh, I'm so excited. Where is he though? I wonder if he's in the foam pit. Should I jump in and see? <laughs> Let's do it. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Quincy! Quincy? Where we are in this big foam zone. Check out these blocks. Look, you see a square? When there's six squares together, that makes a cube. And these are made out of foam, so it's soft and squishy, so it feels really fun and nice to jump into a foam pit. And you don't get hurt. <laughs> Look, there's orange. Blue and black. <laughs> this is so fun. I can't wait till I learn how to do a flip. I wonder where Quincy is. Oh, maybe he's over there. Come on, let's go look. Whoa, this is cool. But I still don't see Quincy anywhere. Huh. Whoa. I know what this is. It's orange, it's round, and oh, it bounces. This is a basketball. But why would a basketball be in a trampoline park? <gasps> hey, there's a basketball hoop. <laughs> and another trampoline. I bet jumping on a trampoline and throwing a basketball into the hoop is a lot easier than if you're just on a regular ground. Oh, I'm gonna try it. Okay, let's see. On three. One, two, three. Ah, didn't get it in. Oh, here's another one. It's yellow. Maybe I'll try and throw it backwards. One, two, three. Whoa. Oh, whoopsie. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Hmm. Maybe if I do three big bounces to the hoop, that will go in. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, there's one more ball. Okay, how should I do this one? Hmm, maybe I'll do one giant bounce and a turn for finesse. <laughs> Ready? One. I still didn't get it in. <laughs> That's okay. I'm gonna keep looking for Quincy. I can't wait to learn how to do a flip. <sighs> Quincy! No, Quincy. <laughs> Let's go over to the other side. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> do you know what this is? This is a balance beam. It's called that because it's a beam and you have to have really good balance to stand on it. Ooh, you don't want to wobble and go side to side. Did you know that there are a lot of animals who have really good balance? And mostly because of their tails. <laughs> Squirrels have really good balance because of their swooshy tails and cats. Meow. Meow. <laughs> and kangaroos. Yeah, kangaroos have long tails that help them balance and they're really good jumpers. <laughs> Will you jump with me? <laughs> hey, let's jump over there. Woo! <laughs> Whoa! More trampolines! Look how many are in here. Whoa! Wow! That has to be Quincy! He's so good at jumping! Whoa! Whoa! Wow! Are you Hello? Quincy? I am Quincy. Hi, I'm Mika! It's nice to 
Nice to meet you, Mika. How nice you doing? Nice to meet you too. I'm having so much fun here. I'm so glad to hear that, Mika. So I heard that you are really good at flipping. You might have heard right. Oh, well, I want to learn how to flip too. Can oh, you help me? I can take good care of you. Awesome. <laughs> what do we need to do first? All right, first and foremost, we have to warm up. Oh, right. It's important to warm up our body so we don't get hurt. Exactly, Mika. Okay, so what do we need to do? So first things first, you know, we're just going to touch the ground. Oh, okay. We're just touch, touch the, the ground. ground. Oh. You know, then we're going to lean to the left. And then we're going to lean it to the right. Okay. Ah. And you know, once your legs feel all good, you get some jumping jacks in. Woo! You know, you know, have some fun with it. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> wow, it's kind of like making a snow angel in the air. Exactly. Whoa! <laughs> wow! Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm getting warmer and looser. Are <laughs> right, you feeling warm and loose? I think so. All right, let's see if you can do a jump twist then. Jump to us. Okay, ready? Ooh, like okay. that? Just like that. Wow. <laughs> I got what else one can one. we do? Well, you ever done a somersault? Yeah. Have you ever done a somersault before? Okay, let's do it together. All right, you know how to do a somersault, Mika? Yeah. So what are the first steps? The Just first as a steps, reminder. Visualize your platform. Ooh, okay. Visualize. Then you're gonna put your hands out. Okay. Oh. And fall. Okay, so hands out, and what do I do with my head? You're gonna tuck your head in like a bowling ball. Oh, tuck your head in like a bowling ball. You're gonna tuck and roll. And then become the ball. Become the ball. <laughs> Here I go. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, Mika. That was so fun. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Okay, ready? All right. Visualize. Visualize. Head tucked. Head tucked. And become the ball. Become the ball. Whoa, that was really fun. It was really fun. Now I got a question for you. Yeah. Think you can do it in the air? Oh, I've never tried before. You want me to show you? Yes, please. All right. So first, you're going to get a whole lot of air. Whoa. A whole lot of air. And then next you're going to do, you tuck your chin again. So once you get all that air, you're going to tuck your chin. And remember, only try and do a flip if you're with a grown up. Yeah. Did you see that? He just did a front flip in the air. That was amazing. Ah, <laughs> uh, thank you. How do you jump that high? Uh, <sighs> basketball helps. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Sometimes you just gotta have fun with it in the air. Up over your leg. Wow, you're so good Meditate at jumping. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, that was so fun. But Quincy. I don't know if I'm ready to do a flip in the air like you just did. Well, you gotta keep practicing, Mika, and then you'll get it. I got it. So, I have to remember to jump really high, stay in one spot, tuck my head, and go forward like a ball. Exactly, it's just like a somersault, but you're taking away the ground. Got it. Thank you so much. Of course, Mika. I'm gonna take all of these things and I'm gonna practice and then one day I'll get to do a front flip just like you, Quincy. I hope so, Mika. <laughs> Thank you so much. Of course, I'm gonna go bounce now. All right, me too. See you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> wow, that was so much fun playing and bouncing at Sky Zone Trampoline Park. <laughs> I really wanted to learn how to do a flip today, and Quincy was an amazing teacher. He knows a lot about flipping and bouncing on trampolines. Oh, and it was so fun jumping into the foam pit. The foam pit was nice and soft and squishy and oh, made out of blocks like this. Wait a second. Do you know what this says? It says, Mika. <laughs> That's me, that's my name. Well, I had so much fun playing and learning with you today. If you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome! M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. We'll see you next time, bye. Whoa, <laughs> I'm up so high, hello. I'm over Hello. here. Hello. Oh, there's a slide. I'll meet you.
meet you at the bottom. Hi! Three, two, one! Yay! <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Twinkle Play Space in Brooklyn, New York. I'm so excited because there's lots of fun things to do here. Oh, look down here. This looks like something a doctor would use. Maybe to check your reflexes? Whoa! <laughs> I'll just put this in my jam pack. And a thermometer. Something else a doctor might use. Interesting. Hmm, a clipboard? Maybe a doctor clipboard? And a stethoscope. Yeah, this is something a doctor uses to check your heartbeat. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> There's a note. Dear Mika, Pettenville needs someone to take care of its animal friends. Here is your veterinarian kit. I know you'll do a great job. Signed, Mayor Rooster. Oh, that's so cool. I get to take care of animals. That's what a veterinarian or a vet does. They're so important because they're animal doctors who take care of animals. Oh, look over here. A doctor's coat. Let's try it on. Wow, I look like a real animal doctor, huh? <laughs> oh, first on the list is a dragon. We better go find it. Come on. Whoa, check it out. A really big, cool looking dragon. Hi, dragon. Oh, it's a mama dragon. Look at the four dragon babies up there. Let's see what the problem is. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. What's the problem? Hey, I can't laugh. What? You can't laugh? Oh, that must be so frustrating. I love to laugh. Hmm, let me see if I can help. Let me just check your heartbeat. Dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun. Ooh, I like that beat. Heartbeat sounds nice and strong. Hmm, what are some ways you can make someone laugh? Maybe some silly dance moves. Uh, okay, Mama Dragon, check this out. Nothing? Tough crowd. Hmm, well, maybe there's something wrong with your throat. I'll take these scarves, we'll go in here, up the dragon's throat, and out. Maybe that will tickle the dragon and the dragon can laugh. Let's try. a wonderful patient. <laughs> wow, we did it. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> Have fun laughing. Okay, next animal. Come on. Wow, what a beautiful tree. <gasps> Look, cute little birds. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. How are you feeling today? Oh, they said they feel fine, but they need their checkup. Have you ever been to the doctor for a checkup? Yeah, just to make sure everything is good and nice and healthy. Come here, little bird. Oh, so sweet. Tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is check your temperature. Okay, let's see, I think I have a thermometer in here. Yep, here it is. Just gonna put it under your wing. Stay still for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Perfect temperature. That's really good. Okay, let's see what else we can check here. How about your eyes? Look at me. Keep going. Look, there we go. 
All right. <gasps> nice. Ooh, healthy eyes. You must eat a lot of healthy food. All right, now we're just gonna check your brother over here. What healthy birds we have here. Keep up the good work, eat healthy and stay strong. Tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. This is a vet's office. Animals can come here to get some extra care if maybe they're not feeling well or they're sick. Oh, look, this is a cool place to give an animal a bath, make it nice and clean. Oh, these are bird cages. Cool. Oh, don't see any birds in there though. Hmm. <gasps> I do see some animals over here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at this little kitty cat. It's sleeping. Shh. <laughs> oh, the, this cat's awake. Hi, cat. Do you want to come out and say hi? Aw. Meow. Meow. Oh, how are you feeling? Much better. Oh, I'm so happy. Do you want to rest a little longer? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll put you back. Okay. Aww. There you go. Have a nice rest. <laughs> Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, it's a horse. Yay! Yay! Hi, horse. I'm Dr. Mika. How are you feeling today? Much better. Nay! Oh, good. <laughs> I'll put you back so you can rest too. Aww. <gasps> Another sleeping animal. It's a little puppy. Look at its little nose. So cute. Did you know that dogs can smell really well? Yeah, they have wet noses. Have you ever noticed a dog's nose? If you touch it, it feels a little wet. Because smells stick better to wet noses than dry noses. And a dog could smell a human over 40 feet away, or about 12 meters. That's really, really far away. Isn't that cool? Oh, isn't that cool? <laughs> oh, do you know what animal this is? It's a rabbit. <laughs> Look at its long ears. Hello? <laughs> oh, I think this rabbit needs to rest too. There you go. Aw, all these animals are resting. It's really important to rest, especially if you don't feel very well. And look, a little pig. Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> look how cute. How are you feeling today, pig? Oh, that's great. The pig said it's feeling a lot better. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Well, everyone rest up, and I'm going to go look for some other animals who might need my care. You come with me? Let's go. Cool. We're on a farm. Wow, there's lots of farm animals in here. Huh. A chicken and little chicks. Hi. <laughs> They're so cute. <gasps> Three new patients. Let's see. Hi, I'm Dr. Mika. How are you? <coughs> oh, <laughs> I understand, cow. The cow is saying that it's feeling a little lonely. Aw, well, <laughs> looks like your x-ray is on the wall. Let's take a check. All right. Looks like, uh-huh. Correct? Yep, that's the one. Oh yeah. You look great. Your x-ray is actually perfect. But you said you're lonely. Hmm. You know, they say that cows have best friends. <laughs> yeah, they have a favorite cow that they like to hang out with all the time. So I bet you need a cow friend. Hmm, do you see any cows around here? <gasps> Did you hear that? I think it's coming from inside. Oh yeah! <gasps> Look at this sweet cow! Oh. Do you want a best friend? Oh. I have a great friend for you. Come on! Here you are! Best friends, best friends! Aw! <laughs> Do you feel better? Oh. <laughs> 
awesome. I'm so glad. Did you hear that? It sounded like a cat in trouble. Oh no, there's a cat stuck way up there. I have to save it. Come on. Whoa, a fire truck. Ah, yeah, firefighters help cats get out of really high places all the time. Looks like I need to save a cat. Here we go. I'm coming for you, cat. Hi, cat. It's me, Dr. Mika. Let me see if I can get you unstuck. Oh, are you okay? Oh, well, I have you now. Let's go back down the ladder. How are you feeling? Oh, <gasps> there's a fire. I better become a firefighter and put it out. Whew. Close one. You know what? I think I'll take you to the vet's office and check your heartbeat and make sure you're A-OK. -okay. Come on. Meow. <laughs> Okay, little cat, welcome to my office. Let me just give your heartbeat one more listen, okay? All right, make sure it's a nice, strong heartbeat. Okay, let's listen. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, sounds perfect. <laughs> nice, strong heartbeat. Okay, well, you've had a really long day, so I think maybe you should get some rest. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Come on, let's see if there's any open spots for you to lay down and take it easy. All right, here you go. Get nice and cozy and take a little rest. It's important to get rest, especially when you're not feeling well. <laughs> well, I had so much fun today taking care of those animals. Thank you so much for your help. And isn't it cool that dogs can smell so well? And that cows have best friends? Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Awesome. <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, I'll see you next time. Mika the Vet, out. <laughs> Bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Play Lab in Eagle Rock, California. There's so many different kinds of toys to play with inside. There's even dinosaur toys. <laughs> and my friend Naisha is stopping by to teach us colors in American Sign Language. Let's go. Cool, a train table. Have you ever played with toy trains before? They're so fun. Look at this one. There's one, two, three, four cars. And they're sticking together. Check it out. They're magnetic, meaning they attract to each other. See, they stick together. Whoa, look at the wheels. Let's see the colors on top of here. We have orange, black, red, and red. All right, Conductor Mika is ready to take this train on a trip. All aboard. Chugga 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 All right, guess it's time for me to keep playing. See you later, train. <laughs> Let's go over here. This is a cool room to play in. Hey. Hello? <gasps> Hi, Grandma. Uh-huh. Oh, I'm just playing with my friends. Yeah, yeah, can I call you back? Okay, bye, Grandma. <laughs> Oh, and look, there's little babies in here. Oh, it's so cute. Hi, baby. Oh, what? Oh, it's nap time. Shh, sorry. Hey, I wonder if I could climb up here. It's kind of small. Do you think I'll fit? 
All right, I'll try it. Hello, up here. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it looks like I'm on a bridge. Oh, and there's a little slide. Three, two, one. Whoa. <laughs> what? Using dinosaurs? Oh, I love dinosaurs. Wow, these are really cool. Look at this one. See the plates on the back? Oh, that means hello. <laughs> Whoa, and this one has a crest. You know, a lot of dinosaurs that have a crest like this, instead of roaring, they would kind of sound like honk, honk, <laughs> honk, honk. Whoa, this one has some sharp teeth in there. Ooh. Very cool. And this one has wings so we can fly. Whoa. These dinosaur toys are so cool. My favorite dinosaur is the T-Rex. I wonder if they have a T-Rex here. It's not that one. Not this one with the long neck. T-Rexes don't have long necks. Oh, here it is. Hi, Mika. Hey, T-Rex, how are you? I'm fine. I want to go down the slide. Oh, you have to ask nicely. Can I go down the slide, please? Oh, sure. Here we go. All right. Are you ready? Three, two, one. What's wrong? Oh, he's a little bit nervous. Let's just say... You can do it! You got this! Okay. You can do this! You got this! Come on, T-Rex! Yeah! You did it! Oh, I'm so proud of you! Thank you. <laughs> Aw, that was fun. Whoa, look at these blocks. They're soft and squishy. Hmm, maybe we could build a tower. Let's see if I could build a tower as tall as me. Whoa. Okay. I have to get even taller than that. Oh, I have to have really good balance blocks. Oh no. Come on. Taller. Taller. It has to be taller. We gotta make the blocks even taller and taller. Come on, blocks. Taller and no. <laughs> That's okay. Let me clean up real fast. <laughs> Aisha? Oh, who's your friend? This is my friend who's an interpreter. Her name is Rory. Oh, hi, Rory. I'm Mika. Hi, Mika. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. So Rory's an interpreter, so she's going to help us communicate, which is good because I only know a little bit of sign language. And I'm so excited that you are both here so that we can learn some colors in American Sign Language. All right. Yes, we can. So let's start with, ooh, what about this balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's orange. So how do we say orange in American Sign Language? Like this? Okay, are you doing it? Orange. Good job. Cool, all right, that orange. <laughs> ooh, what about this one? It's one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Purple, that's right. So how would we say purple? Oh, the letter P, right? Purple. Yeah, because P is the first letter in the word purple. I got it, cool. Bye purple. Oh, do you know what color this balloon is? It's pink, good job. Okay, so how would we say pink? So the letter P again, and then you hit your chin like this. Pink. Good job. All right, bye pink. <laughs> Ooh, what about this little balloon? Do you know what color this is? It's blue. Ooh, like my fingernails. <laughs> 
how do we say blue in American Sign Language? Okay, so the letter B and then kind of wave it like that. Cool, are you trying it? Good job, blue! Bye, blue! And this balloon is what color? Red! Nice! So how would we say red? Okay, so you take one finger and rub your chin like this. Red! <laughs> nice! Bye, red! Oh, yes! Another one of my favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow! Okay, how do we say yellow in American Sign Language? Okay, so like the letter Y, and then wave it. Can you do that? Yellow! Good job! Bye, yellow! Wow, thank you so much for teaching us how to say those colors in American Sign Language. It's great to see you and to be able to teach you. Oh, it's good to see you too, and really nice meeting you, Rory. All right, I'm gonna keep playing inside, but I hope to see you two later. <laughs> Bye. Oh, cool. There are more toys in here. A helicopter. <laughs> oh, look, a little car. Uh-oh, it needs a driver. Oh, I can drive. Oh. You can, can I see your driver's license? Whoop, looks like you, yep. Okay, get on in. All right, enjoy the ride. Vroom. Whoa, whoa, hey, slow down. My bad, it's okay. Nice part job. <laughs> oh, look at these circles. See a red circle. <gasps> Oh, hi! <laughs> nice smile. <laughs> and let's see what's under the orange one. Oh, another friend! Hello! And another orange. <gasps> hi! Ooh, cool blue glasses. And let's look under this yellow one. Oh, hi! <laughs> and let's look under this other yellow one. Oh, hello! <laughs> I didn't know there were gonna be friends in there. Oh, cool, check out these shapes. It looks like this one's missing, but we could start with this circle. All right, let's go right there. And, oh, a triangle. All right, see you later, triangle. Do you know what this is? It has one, two, three, four, five sides. That's a pentagon. All right, later, pentagon. And this is a trapezoid. Yeah, very cool shape. Go in there. Yeah, they all fit. Nice. Whoa, look at these colorful blocks. Let's check them out together. Hmm, let's see. I like this blue one and purple. Hmm. Yellow? Or is this orange? This one's more like yellow, right? Yeah, orange, yellow, pink, and red. Wait a second. These are the colors that we learned with Naisha, remember? American Sign Language? Let's see if we can remember, okay? Do you remember how to say red? Red. Yeah, good job. What about pink? Do you remember how to sign pink? Pink. Pink. Good job. Ooh, what about yellow? I really like this one. Yellow. Remember? <laughs> and orange. Orange is... Yeah, orange. And purple, one of my favorites. Remember? Purple. Good job. And what about blue? Yeah, make the letter B. Blue. Good job. That was so fun learning that today. <laughs> hey, I had so much fun playing with you today at Play Lab. There's so many different toys inside. We got to play with trains. 
lions and dinosaurs Rawr! <laughs> and blocks. And my friend Naisha taught us some colors and American Sign Language. Wasn't that so cool? Thanks for learning with me. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Great! <laughs> M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. Okay, friends. Bye! Hi, it's me, Mika. And today I'm at Peter Weber Equestrian Center in Rolling Hills Estates, California. And I'm so excited because today we're going to feed and care for horses. And also, I heard there are some other animals here for us to meet. Come on, let's go explore. Howdy, y'all. It's cowgirl Mika coming to check on my horses. This rootin' tootin' town needs someone to make sure all the animals are taken care of. And I'm the gal for that. <laughs> Okay, let's go get the horses started on their daily routine. I've been given permission to feed all the animals here today. Can you help me? Oh, great! I've got my bucket. Come on, let's go. Bye, Bobby. Hey, buddy. I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <gasps> Whoa, he must be so excited to meet me. Did you know? You can tell a lot about a horse's mood by the way his ears are pointed. If they're pinned back, that means they're not feeling very friendly, so we should give them some space. But if they're forward, that means they're looking ahead and it's okay to pet them. Oh, look, his ears are pointed forward. He must be ready for us to pet. Let's go. Hi, buddy. Wow, he's so soft. Did you know that a horse can look at two different... Yeah, that's right, buddy. He's excited to eat. Did you know horses can pay attention to different things when their ears are pointed in different directions? That means they're focused on two different things at the same time. But he's ready to eat. Let's feed him. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for breakfast? Hmm, what do I have for you to munch and crunch? <gasps> Look, we have some carrots and some hay. Let's go. Are you ready, buddy? Oh, wow. Let's try some hay next. Oh, great job, pal. Horses are herbivores, so they love to eat plants. Did you know horses don't have to brush their teeth? That's right. That's because their teeth keep growing and growing. And they never get too long because they just get whittled down when they eat. <laughs> really cool. <laughs> Buddy is a Palomino horse. Horses come in all different colors, like Appaloosa, Pinto, Paint, Black. I've got it. Let's go on a ride and find a bay horse. Come on, let's go. Check out all these horses. Okay, first we'll park Buddy, and then we'll take a closer look. Great job, Buddy. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna dismount now. Now he's in. <gasps> wow, look at all these horses. They're so colorful. <gasps> Check out Happy. Hello, Happy. Is Happy a bay horse? No, Happy is an Appaloosa. <laughs> cool. Let's keep looking for our bay horse. Check this guy out. I wonder if he's a bay horse. Hi, are you a bay horse? No, that's a chestnut horse. Let's keep looking. <laughs> oh, I see another horse over there. Let's go see. Hello. <laughs> Are you a bay horse? Oh, no. That's a Palomino, just like Buddy. Okay, one more. Is this a bay horse? 
That's right! It is a bay horse. <gasps> Hello! I'm here to take care of you. <laughs> Let's walk him over to his stall. There we go. All right, we're ready. Come on. <laughs> Now that we're here, we should check his stall. It's important to keep a horse's stall clean from manure and mud so they don't get sick. Ha ha ha! Wow, it's spotless! Great job keeping your room clean! <laughs> Just kidding! Now it's time for some grooming. I'll grab my brush. Wow! It's important to clean off any dirt that might bother them under their saddle. We can also check for any injuries he might have gotten overnight. Great! Did you know that horses can run right after being born? That's incredible! It takes humans a lot longer to learn how to run. First, we learn how to roll over, and then sit up, and then crawl, and then walk, and then run. But horses can do it right away. That's so impressive. Must be because their legs are so strong. Do you need any lunch? No, nope, you've already eaten? Okay, guess my work here is done. See you later. Let's go check out what other animals we can feed. Check out this petting corral. Let's see what kind of animals are inside for us to care for. Follow me. Whoa, there are so many animals. I see goats and alpacas. Oh, there's even a chicken. Let's see if they need some food. Come on in. Hello. Hi, I'm Mika. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, it looks like he's ready. Have you had any food? That means, yep, I'm all full. <laughs> What's in my bucket? I grab my brush so your hair can be nice and plush. <laughs> okay, he's ready. Let's start brushing. <laughs> Brushing is important because it loosens any loose hair and dandruff from their hair. Mm-hmm. That helps keep their blood flow nice and healthy. There you are, friend. Great job. <laughs> You're all clean. You look great. My job is done here. Wow, bunny rabbits. Let's hop inside. Hop, hop. Keep hopping. <laughs> Check out all these bunny rabbits. <laughs> What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? What do I have for you to munch and crunch? <laughs> oh, lettuce! Bunnies are herbivores. That means they like to eat plants. And they're very social too, so they like to live in groups. Let's count how many bunny rabbits we see. One, two, three. Three bunny rabbits. Oh, they're so soft and cuddly. <laughs> and bunny rabbits, their teeth, they just keep growing just like horses. But it gets whittled down after they eat. <laughs> Well, our rabbits are all fed. Let's go see what other animals we can find. Oh, look at these tortoises. They're so cool. Are you ready for some lunch? <laughs> yes, I got you. What's in my bucket? What's for lunch? 
What do I have for you to munch and crunch? Whoa, he started early. That's right, it's lettuce. A tortoise's shell is really tough to protect them. They can put their head, arms, and legs inside like a cozy little home. <laughs> and these shapes, they're called scutes. Oh, that's a lot of scutes. Now that the tortoises are fed, I'll just scoot on out of here. Success! All the animals are fed, groomed, and taken care of. Thanks for helping me, friend. <laughs> that was so much fun meeting Buddy and all those cute bunnies, tortoises, and goats. They're all fed and ready for their day. Well, that's the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. All right, y'all. See you later. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Mika. And today, I'm at the Happy Ice in Los Angeles, California. And I'm so excited because we get to learn all about water ice. Have you ever heard of water ice before? <laughs> it's smooth and creamy like ice cream, but refreshing like shaved ice. And I can't wait to taste it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Are you ready to explore? <laughs> yeah, come on, let's go. Hey, I'm Mika. So nice to meet you. Hey, Mika, I'm Lemire. <laughs> do you make Happy Ice? Yes, I do. I'm actually the owner of Happy Ice. Really? Yes. Wow. And we serve Philadelphia water ice. You ever had it before? Never. Oh, man. You need to learn more about it. You want to learn more? Yes, please. Whoa! It's so colorful in here. And look, there's a rainbow. <laughs> I love rainbows. Let's see which colors this rainbow has. Red, pink, yellow, blue, a different shade of blue, and green. Wow! And hey, look at these clouds. Wait a minute. Oh, we're surrounded by clouds. Whoa, do you see that up there? <laughs> so fluffy. <laughs> Check out this watermelon. Oh, would you like to count the seeds with me? Great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 watermelon seeds. <laughs> and did you know this part of the watermelon is called the rind? <laughs> yeah, it's green. Cool. <laughs> oh, and look, another red fruit. Do you know what it's called? That's right, cherries. <gasps> Let's count the cherries. One, two, two delicious cherries. Check out all these fruits. <laughs> oh, look at this one, a lemon. It's one of my favorite colors, yellow. Do you see any other yellow fruit? Yeah, this pineapple has yellow and green too. This pineapple is so sweet and this one is really sour. <laughs> oh, and look at all these red fruits, strawberries and some more cherries, just like this one <laughs> and watermelon too. Ooh, I love this place. It makes me feel so happy. Happy ice, happy ice. Sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. <laughs> and look, another rainbow. Whoa. Let's see where the rainbow goes. Ooh. Hey, Lemire. Hey. You ready to get started? Are you ready to get started? <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we can start off by letting you choose the flavor we start making it in. <gasps> can I choose two flavors? Why not? Today's a special day. Oh, great. What color should we choose? I see white and green. I would love to try a yellow flavor, but I don't see any. 
Oh, well, this right here, I know it looks orange, uh -huh. but when we make it and it comes out the machine, it's gonna be bright yellow, just like your headband. Oh, perfect. I'd like that flavor, please. Gotcha. And I would like my other favorite color, purple too, but I don't see it. Oh, purple is your favorite color? Yes, one well, of them. Guess what? We don't typically have purple, but I did make a custom flavor recently flavor. that I didn't get a chance to use, but today's a special day. Whoa. It's lavender. Lavender? What does yes. that taste like? So lavender is a floral flavor. Uh -huh. It's like a herb, very light, but very, very good. Oh, I'd like that one, please. All right. Purple and yellow. Got it. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> Let's go make it. All righty. We now have our flavors. Great. You ready to start making? Yeah. Okay. Well, we're chefs today, so we have to have our aprons. Great. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pour our flavor inside of our pitchers right here. Okay. Okay? You wanna do yellow? Yes, please. I'll go ahead and do the purple. Wow. All right. Go ahead and pour the whole thing inside. All right. Alrighty. I'll take that one. You can now you have your lavender. Lavender. Mm-hmm. In machine. Pour that one, one. inside of there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm, it smells so good. Doesn't it? Yeah. Tastes good too. Awesome. Thank you. And now sitting at the top of the machines is our special water mix. This is what makes Philadelphia water ice, Philadelphia water ice. <laughs> Very special. You want to go ahead and take this. Okay and pour this right directly inside the machine with the flavor. Okay, here I go. You are doing a good job today. Oh, thank you. Perfect, yep. And we got one more. One more to go. You actually make two flavors. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Perfect. All righty. So now we're at the final stages. Okay. And we want to make the product. So we have our icons on here. And the one that kind of looks like an ice cream cone, when we hit that one, the machine is going to start and it's going to freeze the product oh. and actually turn it into Philadelphia water ice. Wow. Okay. Okay. So I'll let you have the honors of counting down and okay. we're going to hit the button together. Together. Ready? All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Wow, check out all this foam. <laughs> all righty. So now the product is frozen inside and it's time for us to let it out. All right. So I'm gonna start off by just hitting this button. And this one, and now it's ready to come out. So I'm gonna stir up the top a little bit. Get the top mixture a little solid. All right, and we ready to go. Here go your bright yellow. Remember I told you like a headband? Yeah. All right. Looks great. I'm going to let it out. I'm going to demonstrate on this one, and you're going to do that one, okay? Okay. All right. So you want to bring it to the center. You have to lift it up, and then the product comes out. And we want to stir it while it's going inside of the bucket. Whoa. Then <laughs> once it fills up, bring this back down, turn it to the side, stop the machine. Keep stirring. We're going to stir it a little bit just to flatten it out. And you are all set. Okay. You want to start by hitting that button, uh -huh. then that one, and then you can lift up the handle. Go ahead, turn that to the middle, lift it up. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> yeah. And go ahead and stir as it's coming out. Do I fill up the whole bucket? That should be enough right there. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Going to stop the machine for you. And now we have to go ahead and pop on our two lids. Okay. And once we pop on our lids, we're going to hurry up and get inside of the freezer so it's no ice crystals and we're all ready to go. Great. Okay. All right. So we need our two lids. We're going to pop our lids on. Perfect. <laughs> so now you want to go ahead and get them inside of the freezer okay. so they can get ready to serve. <laughs> So 
That was so much fun. <laughs> happy ice, happy ice. Sounds so good, I had to sing it twice. Happy ice, happy ice, happy life. <laughs> oh, look, we have a customer. <laughs> Wait, I thought I had a customer. <gasps> oh, there she is. <laughs> Here you go, oh, babe. Yeah. You're welcome. Enjoy. <laughs> Great. Another happy customer. Thanks for helping me learn about Happy Ice today. We got to visit the Happy Ice truck and try different flavors, and we even made our own flavor. Well, that's the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Can you spell my name with me? M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. See you later, friends. Hi, it's me, Mika. And today we are at Southern Hill Farms in Claremont, Florida. This farm is so cool because they grow flowers and they grow fruit. So today I want to pick some blueberries, make blueberry lemonade, and find some beautiful sunflowers. I love sunflowers because they're yellow. One of my favorite colors. Come with me. that you can use to collect the blueberries in once they're picked. <laughs> That's so fun. Oh, come down here, look at this. <laughs> Have you ever seen sand on a farm before? <laughs> yeah, you might not expect sand at a farm, but this sand that's really soft and fine, it's called sugar sand, and it's really helpful for the blueberries. With this sand, the water can drain quickly, which is super important because blueberries do not grow in a lot of water. So this sand's really fun to play with and touch, but it's really important for the blueberries. So I'll just leave that there. <laughs> do you want to pick blueberries with me? Let's go. Take a look at this. It's a blueberry bush or a shrub. Here, come a little closer. See, there's, oops. <laughs> a stem, and the leaves, and look, the fruit, the best part. <laughs> so, see how some of these berries, they're different colors. There's kind of a purple, a blue, and a green. Do you know which berry is ripe? <laughs> That's right, this one, the blue one. Those are the ones that you wanna pick. And ripe means that it's fully grown and ready to eat. <laughs> They're so cute. I know, we could pick 20 ripe blueberries. Will you count with me? Cool. So we have one. Hmm. Oh, here's another one. Two. Ooh, there's one down here. Three, four, Almost there. 17. 18. 19. 20. 20 ripe blueberries. Thanks for counting with me. See, you can pick them off of the bush or you can pick them up off the ground as long as they're nice, blue, and ripe. <laughs> oh. This is gonna be really good in my blueberry lemonade. You can do all sorts of things with blueberries. What do you like to do with blueberries? You could make jam or jelly for a blueberry and peanut butter sandwich, or you can make a smoothie, blueberry pancakes, cupcakes, parfaits, juice. There's so 
much you can do with blueberries. <sighs> Should we keep looking at blueberries? All right, cool. Let's go over there. There's more. <gasps> wow, look! It's a baby blueberry shrub. See, it's much smaller than the other plants we saw. But one day, it's gonna grow nice and big and full and have a ton of blueberries on it. You'll notice on the young plants, they have little flowers, see? <laughs> so cute. Oh, I see another ripe blueberry. Here, take a look. See how it kind of looks white on the outside? That's called bloom. And bloom is like a sunblock for blueberries. It protects it against the sun so the blueberries don't get too much sun. Check it out, a really big yellow slide. I have to go down. Let me put my blueberries down so I don't spill any and I'm nice and safe. Come on. Whoa, I get it. You use the potato sack to go down the slide. See, you put your feet in here, in the bottom, get situated, and then you woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh, look at this. You must be this tall to ride alone. All others must ride with an adult. All right, let's see. Oh, I think I'm tall enough to ride alone. <laughs> let's check it out. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, it's really high up. This is quite the climb. This slide is gonna be awesome! Look how high we are! You can see the entire farm! <laughs> okay, only slide feet first. Okay, that was my plan anyway. All right, so you lay your potato sack down like this. You sit down, and feet first. Feet will go in this little pocket here. <gasps> okay. You want to watch me slide all the way down to the bottom? All right, see you there. <laughs> Three, two, one, slide! Whoa! 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 <laughs> that was so fast. That was awesome. <laughs> all right, let's put this over here. And <gasps> my blueberries. Oh, there they are. All right, come on, blueberries. And you come too, there's more fun things to do. Oh, check it out, it's a carousel. Have you ever been on a carousel before? <laughs> well, let's go. Blueberries down and go for a ride. Hmm. Oh, I love this horse. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at this yellow hair. Oh, one of my favorite colors. All right, I'm ready, horse. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, on the other side. Wait till it gets to a complete stop before you get off the horse. That's the safest thing to do. And we're stop. <laughs> that was so fun. Let's see what else we can find here. Wow, this is a huge jumping pillow. <laughs> Come on, let's see. Whoa, super bouncy. Whoa, this is so fun. Can you imagine if this was really a pillow? Oh, good night. Oh, oh. 
Whoa, let's see, what can I do on here? Whoa, I can do one of my all-time favorite things, a cartwheel. Ready? Woohoo! Oh, I can also do a round off. <laughs> Whoa, hey, you can jump with me. What's one of your favorite jumps? You can do this. You could do it on the other side. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm so excited to make blueberry lemonade. I already made a lot of lemonade right here. To make lemonade, you need lemons and you need sugar to make it sweet because lemons are pretty sour and you need some water. But I think we need one more lemon to go into this lemonade. So let me cut one here. I'll show you how you get the juice out. And remember, only grown-ups should be using knives. Okay, so cut this in half, like that, and this is a juicer. So we're gonna add that to the picture that I already made before. Yum! Okay, and my favorite part, we have some juice from the blueberries that you helped me pick earlier. We washed the blueberries and we juiced them and now I have some yummy blueberry juice to add to this lemonade. All right. Whoa! <laughs> Isn't that such a pretty color? All right. Now we'll take a spoon and stir it up. Mmm, smells sweet and fruity. Hey, okay, think that's pretty good. And I have a cup here so I can taste it. I have to make sure it tastes good. All right, whoops. <laughs> and, oh! I should add some extra blueberries to make it really special. Mmm. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's really, really tasty. Oh, I love blueberries so much. Okay, so I picked blueberries. I made blueberry lemonade. What's the other thing that I wanted to do? <gasps> Find sunflower. That's right! I wonder if there are sunflowers around here. I have these binoculars. They'll help me look a little closer. Let's see. Where are the sun? Oh, I see sunflowers down there! Let's get a closer look. Come on! Found the sunflowers. Oh, there's a really big one down here. Wow, it's so pretty. See, the inside looks like the sun and the petals all around look like sun rays. Isn't that cool? Like a big, beautiful sunshine. And speaking of sunshine, did you know that sunflowers are attracted to the sun? So if the sun is shining over here, a sunflower will look like this. <laughs> and if the sun is shining over there, the sunflower will look like this. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, they're so beautiful. So I think we did everything that we planned. Let's see. We picked blueberries, we made blueberry lemonade, and we found sunflowers. <laughs> we did it. Thank you for your help. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika, and today I'm at the Gingerbread Factory in Leavenworth, Washington. This place is so cool because they're known for making gingerbread. Have you ever had a gingerbread cookie before? Oh, they're so 
yummy. And I love it when they have icing on them. I wanna know how icing is made and I bet I can find out in here. Come on. <gasps> Whoa, look at all of these delicious looking desserts. Hmm, but that's not the icing I'm talking about. Oh, look at these cookies, yum. But they don't have any icing on them. Hmm, let's keep going. Whoa, <laughs> look how big that cinnamon roll is. Ooh, and that has yummy icing on it. And these cookies, they're shaped like hearts. Oh, they're so cute. I really like this pink one with rainbow sprinkles. That's the kind of icing I wanna make. <laughs> Hello. Hello there. I'm Mika, what's your name? I'm Ashley. Oh, nice to meet you, Ashley. You too. Are you a baker? I sure am. Oh, so I bet you know how to make icing. The sugary good stuff? Yes, that's my favorite. I sure do, do you want to know how to? Yes, please. All right, come with me. Oh, awesome, let's go. I'm so excited. Oh, nice. So before we get to creating in the kitchen, we've got to wash our hands. Oh yeah, okay. let's get our hands clean. So excited to make icing. Okay, so first things first, get some soap. Wash my hands. It's important to have clean hands when you're baking or cooking so you don't get any germs in the ingredients. Keep everything nice and clean. All right. Whoa, that's a lot of I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, so friend, this is 10 pounds powdered sugar, the first ingredient to making icing. That's a ton of sugar. Yeah. Do you want to dump it in the bowl so we can get started? Oh, sure. Okay. Oh, do I need to wear anything special? Oh, you're so right. We're going to have our apron. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, this way we can keep all of the messes off of our clothes. Oh, so right. Okay. So the first thing is gonna be the powdered sugar in this big bowl. Oh yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh, it's heavy. Good Whoa. job. Looks like snow. Whoa. <laughs> Perfect. Look at this. Yeah. Now it's snowing in the kitchen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there's still some more. There's some more. Mm-hmm. All right. Oof, sorry for the mess, Ashley. Oh, you look <laughs> great. The next ingredient is meringue powder. Whoa, what is that for? That's to make the sugar whip together into icing. Whoa, okay. Maybe this will make such a big mess. Mm. Oh no, that was much better. Yeah. <laughs> Last but not least, we need the water to liquefy it. Oh, okay, the whole thing? The whole thing. Some water. Yeah. This is gonna make a lot of icing. Mm-hmm. And so I don't have a poof on me. <laughs> We're gonna have you mix that up till it's nice and liquidy. Whoa! You need some big muscles to mix all this icing together. <laughs> Oh, I can smell it. It smells really sweet. Mm hmm Round and round, get all the ingredients together. Okay, is that good? I think that's looking pretty good. Okay. All right. <laughs> Want to give that a little ting-ting? Okay, a little... A couple of tings. Uh -huh. <laughs> a few more. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to put this guy onto our lovely machine and we're gonna get to mixing until it's nice and wet. Wow, okay. Yeah. Wow. This machine is so cool. And so helpful. Yeah, it's gonna mix everything together to make a really nice, smooth icing. Mm-hmm. Because grandma's before had to do it all by hand. Wow. One, two, three. Whoa! It's so cool! Come look! Woo! <laughs> okay, I cleaned up a little bit. Now I'm really ready to make some icing. 
Just in time, it just got done. Oh, yes! Yeah, so actually, you wanna learn how to make a decorating poem? Yeah, that sounds so cool. All right, awesome, I'm so glad to hear that. So we got this bowl. Okay. All right, and there's a spoon already in there. Do you wanna Ooh. scoop a couple of heaping spoonfuls Ooh, out? Heaping, heaping, yeah. that means big. Oh, Whoa. yeah. Look at that. Some more in there. Mm -hmm. Wow, we need a lot of icing. Okay. Whoa. Perfect. Nice and fluffy. Look mm -hmm. at that. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, next, you're going to take one of these bags. Okay. And you're going to fold it so we can hold it without getting our hands fold dirty. Fold it so you can hold it. Yeah. Okay. All right, now what? Perfect. You're gonna hold it just like a cup, and here's your tip. Oh, thank you. This is what helps us push the icing through. Oh. And we're gonna slide it right on in, all okay. the way to the bottom. That. Perfect. Now you're gonna take your spoon and just put a couple of spoonfuls in there. <laughs> Not right. too much. Oh no, I'm gonna get messy again. It's okay. It's fun to get messy. Woo! <laughs> all right. Nice catch. Thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Should I start squeezing it down? Push it down just a little. Push it down just a little. With it still folded? Fold it up. Okay. Fold it up. Yeah. Perfect. I'm gonna steal some too, so we're on the same page. Push it down. Yeah. See it? And I'm gonna do just a little. How's oh, that? You did great. Yeah, so to make sure it doesn't all come out the top, mm -hmm. we have these lovely little clips. Oh, yeah. so you can fold it down. Fold it up. Fold it up. And around. Oh. Yeah, and then we push down. Push, push, push. Oh, perfect. Okay. Here's your lovely little clip. Thank you. Here's my lovely little clip, and we clip it on. Awesome, we're ready That's... to decorate now. All right, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah. Look at all of this. I see candy. We could decorate with candy. And oh, there's so many different kinds of cookies. Wow, look at this. A little person. It's so cute. And oh, do you know what color this is? It's one of my favorites. Purple. It's a purple rectangle. And oh, look at this really bright circle. It's orange. <laughs> Ooh, and here's one of my other favorite colors. Do you know what it is? Yellow. Nice. Kind of looks like a sunshine. <laughs> and a blue square. Look at that. These colors are so bright and cool. And there's little circles. Look, they could be eyeballs. All right, what should I decorate first? Hmm. Ashley, what do you think? Oh, well, if you don't want to use white, I made all these extra colors for you. You did? I did. Wow. I see purple and yellow yeah. and blue. Wow. Okay, let's see. I think I'm going to make a little person. <laughs> Maybe I'll use purple because I love it so much. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna do a purple shirt. And yellow pants. And maybe some white curly hair. And let's see. I'm gonna do a blue face. Eyes and a smile. <laughs> it kinda looks like my grandma. <laughs> Yummy. Woo! And maybe I'll decorate this one with a big 
yellow. See if you know what this is. It's the letter M for Mika. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. And it really makes it easier to decorate in these bags. Makes it easier to write things. <laughs> Look at that funny cookie. <laughs> Do you know who this is? Huh? <laughs> That's right, it's me, Mika! <laughs> this is so much fun decorating these cookies. Oh, hey, hey Ashley! Hey friend. Hey. How'd you like decorating today? Oh, I love it, it's so much fun. And I made you a little something. Oh. I'm getting pretty good at decorating. Do you know who this is? It's you. That's right, and I made it just for you. Wow, thank you. You're welcome, and I also made, do you know? It's Blippi. <laughs> That's right, my best friend Blippi. I made this for you too. Thank you so much. Well, thank you oh. so much for teaching me how to make icing. Anytime, friend. Oh, I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> wow, this has been so cool learning how to make icing and how to decorate cookies. Look, hello, hello, we're best friends. <laughs> well, that's the end of this video. But if you wanna see more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Great, M-E-E-K-A-H, Mika. All right, we'll see you soon, bye. Bye-bye! <laughs> Hi, it's me, Mika! Did you just see how fast I went down that silly slide? <laughs> that was so much fun! Wait, what? Do you know what letter this is? It's the letter A, and it's purple. <laughs> One of my favorite colors. And the letter B. A, B, oh, C. A, B, C. Hey, those are the first three letters of the alphabet. That's pretty cool. Hmm, I wonder if there are more letters around Peekaboo Playland that we can find. Oh, I'll just stick them here in my jam pack and we can go look for more. Will you come with me? Great! One, two, three, four, I'm ready to explore! Come on! Whoa, check it out! Do you know what this is? It's a bounce house! And this one is extra cool because there's a big slide! Oh, I wonder if there's any letters in there. Should we go see? Okay, I'll race you to the top. On your mark, get set, go! Whoa, that was so fun. And there are more letters here. Okay, let's see. Um, oh, do you know what letter this is? It's the letter M for Mika. And it's one of my favorite colors, purple. Ooh, and this is the letter J. J for joy or for jelly. <laughs> and here is the letter P, that's right. P for party or for popcorn or pumpkin. <laughs> and this letter is, yep, the letter U for unicorn or umbrella. Hmm. I have an idea. What if I move this here and this over here? So we have J U M P. That spells jump. Well, if the letters spell jump, we gotta jump. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put these letters back 
into my jam pack. J for jam pack. <laughs> hey, will you jump with me? Let's do a really fun big jump together. Nicely done. Should we look for some more letters? All right. Three, two, one. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Come on, let's go see what's upstairs. Hello. Whoa. Do you see what animal this is? Well, I see a big eye up top with really cool eyelashes and a really big beak. Hello. And a really long wing. Hey, and there's a wing on the other side too. Do you know what bird this is? It's a goose. Will you sound like a goose with me? Wah! <laughs> Wah! <laughs> they sound really silly. <laughs> nice goose. <laughs> hey, that makes me think of mother goose. Do you know any mother goose stories like Humpty Dumpty or Jack and Jill or Mary Had a Little Lamb? Oh, they're all such really good stories and I love to read, so I really know Mother Goose. <laughs> hey, if you wanna learn how to read, you have to know every single letter in the alphabet. <gasps> Speaking of letters, look what I found. The letter G for goose <laughs> and the letter O for <gasps> octopus. <laughs> hey, G-O spells Go! But where should we go? Hmm. I think there's a slide down below. I'll just put these in my jam pack and meet you at the bottom. Whoa! That was so much fun! Thanks for finding letters with me. Should we keep looking for more? Oh, awesome! Hey, let's pretend to be a goose and go that way. Honk! 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 <laughs> Hey, look at this house. I wonder if there's any letters in there. Let's see. Hmm. Ooh. It's so tiny. <laughs> Hi, welcome to my new home. I don't see any letters, but I do see a giraffe. <laughs> I love giraffes. Hey, did you know that giraffes have really long black tongues. You can't see this one. This giraffe's a little shy. And also, a puppy. Oh, hey, there's some other toys over here. Let's see, there's a T-Rex. And, oh, a cute little baby. Hi, little baby, what's your name? Oh, she's shy. Oh, it's Barb. Hi, Barb. <laughs> and, oh, cool. Hello, I'm a tiger, believe it or not. <coughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I love puppets. That gives me an idea to put on a puppet show. Okay, everyone get ready for the puppet show. It's starting in three seconds. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> ah, good morning world. I wish I had someone to play with today. <laughs> good morning world. I wish I had someone to play with. Hey, I just said that. You did? <gasps> New friends! <laughs> oh no, someone's sad. Who can it be? <laughs> uh, it's me, Barb. Oh, Barb, why are you so sad? Oh, Barb wants to play too. Well, no problem, we can all be friends. Yay! Look at all of these friends. Oh. And me. <laughs> Let's see what else is in this basket. Guess what? There's two more letters. The letter.
letter S. S, S for s snake or spaghetti. <laughs> and the letter O. Remember when we found the letter O before for octopus? Okay, let's see. S, O, so. Let me see if there's some other letters in here. Maybe I can make a word. I have the letter U and the letter P. S, O, U, P spells soup. <gasps> that gives me a great idea to make alphabet soup. <gasps> Come on. Oh, let me clean up. Alphabet soup, that's gonna be so much fun. I think that calls for a 10 second dance party. Will you dance with me? Let's do it. Pika's Bistro. Ooh, a bistro is kind of like a fancy restaurant. Let's turn it into Mika's Fancy Restaurant. <laughs> Come on. This is the perfect place for us to make alphabet soup. Hmm, let's see. I need a really big pot. Do you see a pot anywhere? Oh. We have a lot of ingredients. We have to put in all the letters that we found. Let's see. We found A and O and C and M and J. Is that the right way? Yeah. <laughs> o, G, B, S, P, and U. Ooh, that's going to be yummy. Hmm. What else should we put in here? Hey, a refrigerator. Check it out. I think I'm gonna add some vegetables into this soup. Maybe some corn, more corn. <laughs> Ooh, a green bell pepper, that's really yummy. Let's see, oh, and I love citrus in my soup. This is a lime, let's get all the lime juice in there. <laughs> hey, <gasps> the rest of the alphabet. Now we need some water. There's a pitcher over here. Whoa! Okay. And I need a really big spoon, like a ladle. Oh, this is perfect! Wow, look how big it is! Can stir all the ingredients. Oh. Starting to smell really good. There's so many letters in here. Hey, do you know the alphabet? <laughs> Let's sing it while I stir. Ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y and Z. Now I've sung my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Okay, I think it's ready to be moved to the stove to cook. I'll turn it up nice and hot. Ooh, this way all of the ingredients and the letters will mix together to make a really yummy alphabet soup. <gasps> hey, it's time to take a break to wiggle and shake. Oh. Hey, there's a friend over here. A little fox. Do you want to wiggle and shake with us? Oh, great. What's your name? <gasps> Francine the fox. Okay, let's wiggle and shake together while we wait for that soup to cook. Wiggle and shake. Wiggle and shake. Wiggle and shake. <laughs> nice. <gasps> Do you want to try our alphabet soup? Yes! Okay, well, here, let me pull out a chair for you, Francine. Oh, I can smell the soup. Oh, yeah, that smells so good. I think it's time for me to turn this off. Oh, it looks so yummy. Oh, we need bowls. Hmm. Oh, here you go. Here's one for you, Francine, and one for me. Okay, do you want the first taste? All right, it's really hot. Here you go. 
Make sure you like it first. <gasps> Do you like it? Yay, we did it! Okay, so I'll put some in your bowl for you there, Fancy. And some for me. <sighs> I can't wait to taste it. I don't even need a spoon. I'm just gonna drink it. Mmm, it's so yummy! Here, I'll help you, Fancy. Mmm! <laughs> Alphabet soup for you and me. It's like we're having a soup party. Soup party, soup party. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy you like it, Francine. Ah, nice and full. <laughs> hey, thanks for helping me make alphabet soup. <laughs> hey, look who I found. Our two friends from the house. Hey, you two, are you still playing together? Mm-hmm. And are you playing nicely together? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, we're best friends. Aw, well, thank you two for playing with us earlier. Thank you, Mika. Oh, they're so sweet. <laughs> what a fun day playing at Peekaboo Playland. Hey, thanks for helping me find all of those letters. I love letters. And wasn't it fun to make alphabet soup? <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. <gasps> Will you spell my name with me? Cool. M-E-E-K-A-H. Mika. <gasps> hey, I found one more letter. It's the letter B for bye. Come on, everyone, let's make a learning fun. Mika, Mika, so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout.